It was seven minutes after midnight. There was a dog lying on the grass in the middle of the lawn in front of Mrs. Shear's house. The dog was dead. Christopher found him and went towards him. Whoa, one who killed Wellington. Christopher pulled out the flock of the dog. After a few minutes, Mrs. Shears came running towards the dead dog. What a truck's name have you ki- done to Wellington? Let go of the freaking dog now! Christopher put down the dog on the lawn and moved back two meters. Mrs. Shears started screaming because she noticed how much blood there was and she didn't want to get dirty. The police arrive at the crime scene. Alright, what happened here, kid? Well, you see, sir. Who killed him? Why are you here? When was he killed? For some reason, the police touched him. Christopher felt insecure and hit the policeman. Ow! Why do you do that? You're getting arrested. While in jail, Christopher's father visited him. So, Christopher, tell me why you're here. Why? I just need to know. Okay. Actually, no, Christopher. Did you kill the dog? No. Hmm. Please come towards them. I've spoken to your father. He said you didn't mean to hit the policeman, correct? Yes, I didn't want to hit the policeman. I just want him to stop touching me. You know, it is wrong to hit a policeman, right? Yes. The policeman let Christopher free. After being released from the police station, Christopher wanted to find out who killed Wellington. Wellington is really important to Mrs. Shears. I must find the killer. So he went to different neighbours to question them. His father found out about his investigation and told him to stop. Hey Christopher, what are you doing? Stop your investigation now! No! Christopher didn't listen to his father and continued his investigation. Christopher went from door to door questioning each person. He wanted to know who killed Wellington badly. He even questioned his father. Hey dad, do you know who killed Wellington? Uh... Father walks away so Christopher continued his investigation. After Christopher continued his investigation, he still had one question in his mind. Who killed Wellington? Why did he or she kill him? Find out in the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime. You can borrow it at the nearest library. Thank <laughs>